Hello and welcome to the Service Tracker Support User video series. This video covers the mobile device. The mobile device is a key factor in the success of your business and service tracker. Technicians receive all their visits and client information via it and can plan routes accordingly. This is then completed on-site during inspections and visits, capturing key data, photos and customer signatures, as well as raising actions both internally or directly for the client. All of this is in one easy place. It's then uploaded automatically to the main system, allowing technicians to focus on the job and the customer. Hi all, and welcome to Service Tracker Mobile. So um, I'm in a um, emulator, mobile emulator, which means it, it's mimicking a uh, mobile device. Um, and this is what you guys will see. So um, if you're seeing a mouse moving around, it's because I'm in the emulator and I'm not using my fingers. Um, which also means some of the things um, I can't do, so I can't take pictures. Um, so we won't be going through uh, in detail around everything, but I'll try and give you an overview um, on Service Tracker and what you can do on the mobile. So I think the first thing to do is um, give you an overview really of the um, the main screen and what you can see. So what we've got at the moment, the first thing you'll come to is you'll have um, all your jobs. So what you've got here is you can swipe left and right. You can also swipe up and down and by dragging up and down it will refresh the, um, the data in here to make sure it's up to date. So what, what we're looking at here is overdue jobs. You've also got jobs which are required today. You've got jobs for this week. You've got due jobs in the next 45 days jobs that are nearby you and then all the jobs that are complete. So we're going to go into those in a bit more detail in a minute. Uh, in the meantime we're just going to go through the other options that you've got. So if we were to look at the, the top up here we've got a few buttons that we can press. So we've got a magnifying glass and what that is is that's a search option. So if there's a visit number, if you've got lots of visits and you wanted to look for a specific visit number um, you could put the visit number in here and it will search it for you. You've got um, this one here is a map view which is quite good so you can click on that and it will show you the jobs where they are on, on a map um, and then from here you can do a lot more so if you were to click on the, the detail at the top so we move up moving back and forth between the jobs if we were to click on the detail it would open up the um, job card give you a bit of detail around the job and go back to that map view a second but also if you were to actually click on the pin Okay, what you can do when you're in the pin, you, there, there's numerous places you can do it and I'm going to show you now and then I'll briefly mention where you can do it as well later on. But down in the um, bottom right hand corner here you'll see some extra ones. So if you were to press the arrow here, it will be looking at that job, it will be looking at your current location and it will give you a map and it will give you the directions of how to get there. This is uh, linked in with the Google Maps. So what we're looking at here is it will also have the traffic so we can have a look at the, um, the times if it's going to be too busy or not. So it's all linked into Google Maps. So if we now go back to Service Tracker. Okay and we're going to go back. So that's the map view. You've then got a couple more options which I will do on the completed screen here. So we've got this one here which is a filter. And what that allows us to do is it allows us to filter the jobs on routine or the visits on routine, jobs, call outs, follow ups in progress. So, you know, you're able to, to see what you're looking at, you're able to control what you're looking at. You know, some of you guys might have a lot of visits that are on there, so it's, it's easy to help you filter them. You can also do is sort them as well. This is the next one, which is a sort. And you've got the same here, so newest, oldest, um, by job number descending. And you have the similar ones down here as well so we can uh, play on those ones there so that's the main screen and what you can do there the other bit that we've got if we click over here on the top you'll have um, some extra options which are available to you so what we've got on here uh, my visits is going back to that home page basically show visits on a map is the same as what we were just talking about and search visits so it's the same thing there but you then have refresh all data so this is something that we uh, would recommend you do quite often so um, you know when you're in a place if you're wanting to make sure you've got all the relevant data you can press that and it will download all the data for you and make sure you've got a, a fresh up-to-date 
set of data. It does upload automatically, so as you're completing jobs, it will upload. This is just if you want to drag a load more information down. So, for example, there may be um, you may get an alert pop up and uh, or a notification telling you that you've got a new um, new job or a new visit they want you to go and look at. So we would suggest that you then refresh all data to make sure it's up to date there. And it's very straightforward. You just simply press refresh all. It'll bring up this screen and it'll go through and refresh and update everything. So give it a few seconds. There you go. And then we can tap to continue. So that's now refreshed and uploaded everything. The other thing you've got is you've got a view error log. So from time to time, if you uh, if you happen to hit an error and we're wondering what's gone on um, and we ask you to go and look at the error log so you can click on that and they give you the detail of what's happened so you, you're then able to find out what what kind of went wrong or you know with our help we could find out what's gone on so that's the error log and then the only other thing you've got here is the about service tracker so if we click on that that will take us to a, a website web page where it basically will give you a bit more information around the mobile device so if we scroll on down it'll give you you know the how-to guide basically what I'm talking you through on this video but I'm giving you a bit more detail on the video so that's on there as well so if you're stuck out and you need a bit more information so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go to my visits right so what we're gonna look at now is we're gonna have a quick look at um, one of the jobs and we're just gonna click on it so what this effectively does is it opens up a job card and we sort of say on the job card um, this is where you can see a lot of information before you accept it if you're looking and, and reading up about it seeing if you you know are gonna be able to doing it so you've got some key information in here so it's gonna tell you when it's due to start when it's due to finish who to contact phone numbers it's gonna tell you if there's inspection items that need to be done um, and you can actually get quite well the office may get quite descriptive about what they're wanting you to do so you know you may just see the top bit I've, I've basically just added a load of notes in here to demonstrate that if um, you can add quite a lot in and if you press the more button here which is not always displayed it'll only be displayed if there's a lot of detail and it'll bring up another screen and you can then really read all the detail that's in it so um, you know before you've accepted you get a good idea of what, what's what's on there the other things that we've got on here that we can look at so if there are any um, documents attached this is what this one is so if I click on that it'll bring us to the documents page and then you can so there's a document there you could double click and that will open up the document and you can review the document um, it'll that's the map one sort of show us where that specific one is on the map so it's saying what's over here um, so we would go back You've got your contacts, so there could be multiple contacts on here. So what you can also do when you're on here is you can um, email a contact. So it's very straightforward, even if you're working on the job and you want to send them an email, you just click on it and it'll bring up your email. You can then type in a subject and send it. So that then is um, is putting it back to on an email. So let's go back to the job now. Um, you can also add more contacts so you can click on the little plus box here so if you're on site and it's someone different and we don't have them you can then start filling in all the information so it'll ask you to fill it all, all in so first name surname title an email address and the phone number um, and then you can press save and that'll appear on there as well to help going forward so let's actually go and accept um, a job and start on a job so what you would do um, is you'd click on the one that you're going to look at so I'm going to look at this specific one because there's a lot of inspection items and lots of different varieties so we can go through a few of them and give you an indication as to the types of things you may find um, so first of all we're going to we're going to acknowledge that um, you know we've seen this visit and we're going to look at it so by accepting it it means that um, you know we're happy to proceed and it lets the, everyone in the office know what we're doing so it, it keeps everything up to date doesn't mean we've actually started it just means yep that's one of the visits we're going to start looking at and we're going to you know plan in our in our diary so I'm going to accept this one okay and then that means it's ready and you know when, when we want to actually go and start the job we press the start button at the top and what that indicates is that our journey's actually started so what you can also do from here as well is you can go onto the map you can download the directions from the map and, and you can start the journey on there and we're recording all the information to, to help us on the journey when we get on site we then say yep cool we're here we're arrived so we can then click on the arrived bit 
and then the job is now in progress which means we can actually do a lot more with the job itself so we then go in and edit the information and see what's in there so um, we've got a lot of things to inspect so we'll have a look at some of those in a minute um, one of the other things I wanted to um, highlight was um, the risk assessment information so what the guys do can do in the office is they can tick on each site whether or not there's a few things that we need to do on on the site or not and that is whether or not we're going to go through the the risk assessment um, the health and safety um, questions and, and this is what this one is so it, we're saying here have you read understood and observed the current um, site risk assessment and method statement so that'll be against the site so we can then say yeah uh, yes or no and they're asking us to so we're going to say yes we've now gone and read it um, and have you read understood observed the the safe system of work for the treatment and are you qualified to perform it so again we're saying whether or not we are or not so yes in this instance we're going to tick that as well so quite straightforward you can then um, add some information in if you wanted to put some information so we click on the next button and, and what you can do as well if you're um, on your on a mobile device um, you can also dictate to it so there'll be a little button it's not on my screen but there will be a little button on yours where it's got a little microphone so you could press that and you could dictate what you wanted to say and then it would be written for you um, and then you can go okay so the the information will be populated so I mean there are other information that we've got um, I'm just scroll on down these carefully so um, you know you can then go and start filling all the other information out and and as I say it will generally it'll be tailored to to you so you know there are some additional things on here but we've got you know risk information we've got hygiene and proofing and then findings you can then say if you've used any prep, prep or waste so you can click on that and you can add prep and waste so what prep did you use um, did you remove it from site and you can start populating as much information you can so we then can record all the information that we've been used on there um, and if we click on the inspections, so it'll then give you a lot of inspection items that you can go and look at. So we're going to have a quick look at um, an in internal bait box because what you get with this one, so this one's quite a good one. So, you know, we're looking at the inspection. So is there activity and is, is there things required? But the, the, the thing I wanted to highlight was the analysis that you can do on this. So um, within this specific um, inspection item the analysis button will appear and then we can click on the plus so we can then start putting in the information so in this instance it's pest analysis so we're going to go and select um, something to do with pests so let's just put pigeons there and an activity and we'll say all their nesting and then you can put the quantity in here so you can count the quantity so in this instance let's just put in six and then you can save so that's now started the analysis and we're starting to record all the information so we can do some graphs um, on, on the reports um, for the client. So that, that's around that one. You can add, keep adding more to it. And uh, just as a demonstration, if we were to go on to something else, you know, each of them have different things. So it depends on the inspection items. You'll have different screens. So um, this is kind of why I wanted to show you this specific one because there are quite a few different things that we're looking at. So um, depending on what you guys do is the types of things that you will have. But it's all very self-explanatory. So if we go back into the um, internal bait box, we can say was our activity found? Um, is there is an action required? So by ticking that, it will generate an action. Um, and then you can type again you can dictate or put in some notes in here and then that that will in essence be complete for that one there here you go ticking it saving inspection item and then if we were to look at the complete it would appear in there as complete so we've gone through a few of the ones that we were looking at there Another thing that's probably quite important to know is that um, if a, an inspection is, if an inspection item is failed, it will automatically create an action, and that will go to um, the office or to the client. So depending on what's been set up to highlight that there's been a failure. So that was uh, some of the inspection items there. So you generally go through and complete them all, and then you can carry on going through um, all of this information. And you know, if you want to put some recommendations, you can put some recommendations in as well. You can then um, get the customer to sign it by putting the signature section, and then um, you can save that, and then they'll ask for their name. So let's put Joe in there, and that's saved. You can take photos. You can um, do barcodes and again you're just pressing them and it will um it will scan it it would highlight that you physically inspected that item because it'd be recording it and saying it was on site at that time so that's another good thing about the barcode is it is sort of demonstrating that you were on site and doing it 
and we've also got actions so you can click on actions and you can add actions to it so you can then um, start typing in certain action information so it could be that um, it's a client action that there's something the client needs to do so you'd put in all the detail and then by making it client uh, action you would tick the box down here which says client action and if they've got a portal, it would be displayed in, in, in the portal telling them that they've got an action they need to do. Or if it's in the office or if it's something you need to do and you need to go back and do it, you can create the action and you can simply press save. And it will be stored here and you may have to arrange another visit to go back. So let's just say we've then completed the job. The next thing you get is health and safety information and what's quite useful about the health and safety information is um, if, if an incident has been reported it automatically gets emailed and sent to the internal member of staff who's dealing with health and safety so they can um, jump on it and make sure that um, everything's okay and it's all recorded. There you go, and that's completed the job. So if I go over to here, you'll see that it's complete down on the list. Now, ideally, you wouldn't complete a job without actually going and doing all of the um, viewing all of the inspection items. But in this instance, I just wanted to demonstrate how to use it and what you can do. So good luck, um, and if you need any help, give us a shout. Thank you for watching.